their students. Can I take some questions? I'm confused. Um, is there a particular section you'd like me to read? The duties is the duties of the mayor and the powers and duties of the mayor. Does it apply to our town? Does it in our ordinance? Our ordinances are concurrent with the, uh, the pages you have open. I know I'm not asking. Okay. So what I just read from was the same section. Amend the rules of procedure. Okay. What you're reading we'll only pertains then. to the rules of procedure. For instance, we are not suggesting from now on three people have to stand in a circle and shout motion to call this. 
the rules of procedure you're referring to is how we wow. is run. We are not proposing any changes to the rules of procedure. Okay. We are proposing clarification and possible, if necessary, to remove any ambiguity in my changes to the clarifying the roles and duties of the mayor and the town manager. We're not proposing to change the rules of procedure. Rightfully so, because in the Public Information Act, the list of documents that nobody can see, as you can imagine, personnel records, there are financial documents and money in this building, there are documents related to potential real estate purchases, which fall under executive now, session exactly. laws. I just want to clarify that the chief presiding and officer. And the reason for that, no, the presiding officer, no, the public information officer, because she is educated as to what may be released, what has to be blacked out, what requires an attorney general opinion before it may or may not be released. This is a comment that when we start, people are throwing out the corruption. We need this in black and white. This is the obligation. It is section 552 of your about book. Stuff being blacked out, you know, what? Um, like your social security numbers, your, your sure. home information, banking officer information. Bank account numbers. Audit working papers. I, there's a whole list of things that are accepted from the Public Information Act, which is why we rely on a public information officer to be the custodian of those records and review, <coughs> review the release and seek attorney general opinions when they're needed.
Just make that proposal to the council that you would like to have an office so that you can serve the people, and we'll entertain that. But you can't just come in pounding your fist, where's my office? How come we don't have one? Right? That's all I'm saying. Well, no, I asked for it then, and then for legal, I mean, I'm still not yet to hear back, so. Well, it's a new week. How about we just take the different merits? On our first visit, we did a pre um, meeting briefing with you and town staff where we introduced you to um, a variety of things, and this is the first time where an issue of a town office for the town mayor came up, and we said we were short two things in order to achieve that. Um, first, you need to get a, a budget amendment to appropriate the funds to pay for such an office, and secondly, you would need an amendment to the code of ordinances such as is posted under item D1 to expand your powers and duties pursuant to and consistent with section 22042A of the local government code. I'm going to reread this last sentence. The mayor shall perform the duties and exercise the powers prescribed by the governing body of the municipality. In the absence of such a designation of authority that you can find and point me to in the code of ordinances, you don't have any additional power. In addition to that, in light of the powers and duties that have been uh, clearly and strictly delegated to the town manager, um, you would have to uh, amend and reduce those powers in order for you to assume that void. But as I said the first time we met, and I'm going to say it consistently again today, you could get both of those things done, and all you have to do is have the town council approve the appropriate budget amendments and revisions to the town's code of ordinances to take away powers of the town manager and give them to the town's mayor. All I've asked for is a place for the constituents to be able to access their mayor up here. No additional cost. This is a 10,000 square foot building for five people. The taxpayers have spent $2 million on. There's plenty of office spaces up here. There's, it's you have an office. Years. You can move, you can, you can use the office that was made for exactly for that purpose for you to meet with constituents. Does anyone listen to the doors open? Many of many of our citizens are not. They have jobs as well, like we all do, and that work from eight to five, so they don't have access. To There's a meeting in this building pretty much every Tuesday, the first that's not, Thursday. That's not the point. Is what I'm saying is, if well, they want to come up here on Saturday and say, Mayor, we'd like to sit down with you Saturday morning. Sure. Yeah. If they can't do that. No. Well, you can. You can. You can put it on the agenda. Yeah, you can request you, you it. You can't right now, but you can put it on the agenda to see if we want to expand your powers. Well, I think isn't that what we're here for? Though? Well, yeah. We consider these sort of things. So if that's something you want to throw up for consideration, then we can take it up at a later date. Well, I mean, if that's something that you want, the council has to do what the council do. You just go ahead. It's a your <coughs> Just said, again, just read it. So 
then a job performance review. So does it does not mean that you have authority that the, the town manager's office, the chief of police office, the city secretary's office, or records that says you have the ability to inspect the conduct of them um, relative to the ability to cause any negligence, carelessness, or other violation to be prosecuted and punished? Just a point of clarification. Our police chief answers only to the town. 